Welcome back. Today, let's talk about the question, how to add access data to your Instagram posts. I actually got a ton of DMs on Instagram about how I add these details to my photos. So here's a super simple solution that you can use as well. So let's get started. Basically, I've created a Photoshop template that I use all the time to add all kinds of information like shutter speed, aperture, ISO, camera gear, and presets to my photos. It's also linked down below. So just in case, if you want to check that out, if you open up the template, you will see this interface. It's the baseline for all my posts. Of course, you can see the photo photo and down below there are all the details. First up the shutter speed, aperture and ISO and next you can see the focal length, preset and the gear. First up let's add an image. Just make a double click right here to open up a new window. Now just drag and drop your photo into this window and adjust it. The next step is to simply click on save and to switch back to the main template window. So now you can see that you've added a photo and the next step is to simply add the EXIF data. So first let's start with the shutter speed and in this case I've used this one right here. Next let's add the aperture and in this case it's F 1.2. In this case my ISO setting is 100 and the focal length is 85mm. The preset that I've used is my rich black preset that you can also pick up in my shop. And last but not least the gear. In this case it's the Canon R5 in combination with the RF 85mm f1.2. And exactly that's how I add EXIF data to my images. The last step is to export it and upload it to Instagram. But I've also created a before and after option as well. Just click on this small button right here to open it up. In this case, you just need to import a before and after image and maybe adjust the font. It's a small add-on just in case if you want to share these photos as well. But yeah, that's how I add EXIF data to my photos simple and fast. I've linked the template down below, so definitely check that out. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you need, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next video.